In this video, we're going to talk about recrystallization. By the end of this video, you should be able to explain the basic principles of recrystallization as a purifying technique in the chemistry lab, perform recrystallization to purify solid compounds. Recrystallization is a purification technique for solid compounds. Chemical reactions often do not result in 100% pure products. One method to improve purity is recrystallization. The critical step in recrystallization is to find a solvent in which the impurities are very soluble at both low and high temperatures, while the product is only sparingly soluble at low temperatures, but very soluble at high temperatures. Let me explain how this works. You have your crude solid, which is made up of product P and impurities I. You add the solvent at its boiling temperature until the solid is just dissolved. Recrystallization relies on the fact that as temperature increases, solubility of the solid usually increases. Once the solid is dissolved, we let the flask to cool down. If the solvent has been chosen correctly based on the impurities and the desired product, the product will precipitate as pure crystals since it has a lower solubility at lower temperatures, giving us an opportunity to separate it while the impurities remain dissolved in the solvent. There will be some products still dissolved in the solvent, but we're going to sacrifice quality for quantity. For unknown reactions, the proper solvent must be identified by trial and error based on observations. Let's go over a few tips for successful recrystallization. First, we need to add a minimum amount of boiling solvent to make a saturated solution. If we use too much solvent, the solution will be too dilute and the product will not precipitate. Secondly, we need to make sure to let the flask achieve room temperature before putting it on ice. If we directly put the flask on ice, the solution will crystallize rapidly and the impurities will be trapped between the pure growing crystals, precipitating with the product. Let's go over an example to help you understand this better. Imagine you're in the room filled with small papers in different colors. You're given 5 seconds to collect as many papers as you want. If you collect more than five green papers, you will get a thousand dollars. In this case, you will likely collect as many papers as you can, hoping most of them will be green papers. Now, if you're given more time, say 30 seconds, then you can be more selective and look for green papers only. Recrystallization is the same in the sense that the crystals are grabbing solutes from the solution. If too rapid, any solute will be grabbed right away and will crystallize. If slow, the crystallization will be more selective and the product has increased purity. So let's do a quick review. Recrystallization is a purification method for solid compounds. It is done by heating the reaction mixture and slowly cooling it so that the product, which should have lower solubility at lower temperature, crystallizes, while the impurities stay soluble in the solution. Thank you for watching.